Hi, everybody. This is Matthew Pose with Pose Acoustics, and I'm going to answer questions, which I know I have not been good about doing and have not been on top of, and probably many of you just stopped asking questions because of that. <clears throat> um, so I apologize, but I will try to get back on top of that. So this question comes from, I apologize if I mispronounced this, but Matthew Vice Domini. Um, it was probably from a long time ago. So uh, he did a $50 donation or payment for this. Thank you. That's very generous. Where would it be best to do the EQ? I think the answer is yes, I do different things in different stages. What I would do. So first off, when you're doing a theory audio system, they have factory EQ they want you to use that. So of course, you need to make sure you're using their preset before you add any additional EQ. And that should be done in that amp. The next question you said was, secondly, I have flipped my on-wall speakers upside down. So the tweeter is on the bottom and more in line with the center channel. I think this sounds better, but you don't really hear it mentioned as good practice. What are your thoughts on this? And then as you mentioned, since your center channel apparently is below the screen instead of behind the screen, which in and of itself is a compromise. When you talk about like best practices, uh, what I like to point out is that we're talking about best compromises to make because it's not the ideal situation. Um, and so I would say, yeah, that's probably a best practice. It's a, it's a compromise and you would have to make a decision about whether that made sense. 